Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and today we're going to talk about two things. Potential data mined leaks for the Marvel Future Fight mid-month update, and the flurry of new sales, the time attack special items that have just been bombarding the game and bombarding you with pop-ups whenever you are in-game. So yeah, that's what we want to talk about today. First up, we have the potential leaks slash data mined information for the mid-month. Now, for those of you that don't follow the game that closely, the mid-month last year, around this time, around April Fools, unfortunately, ended up being a Deadpool-Gwenpool hybrid, which was widely panned by players for how, for lack of a better term, how shit it was. Uh, it definitely gave Gwenpool a massive upgrade, uh, and it also gave her the ability to go to Tier 3. Like, this is a very strong uniform for being capped at Tier 3. She could do uh, Dormammu GBR, which was really impressive, impressive, especially for a speed type. But it gave her this paywall uniform, which actually went, you know, it, it just, it went back to, yeah. It, yeah, it gave her a paywall uniform, which was brutal. Um, and then it also gave Deadpool one of his worst looks ever, in my opinion. Uh, sadly, it includes Jeff, who I think is super cute. But yeah, this uniform sucks. It didn't make Deadpool better in any way. It only served as a leadership for Gwenpool, which really misses the mark on who Deadpool is. And it really made people, it really gave players like a really bad taste in their mouth. So I think for most players, they're going to be worried about this month's or this year's, I should say, April Fool's update because of how badly last year's went. So I wanted to start off before I reveal who has been potentially data mined. Um, I wanted to basically say to the devs in case they're planning to do this shit again, please never do this shit again. Just never, ever, ever uh, do this kind of update. Um, I'm not saying you can't do, I'm not saying that the, you shouldn't do an April Fool's update, but never do an update where you take a beloved character and just turn them into a glorified leadership for a much less known character. And frankly, a character who doesn't even exist if that first character doesn't exist, right? Like Gwenpool is just a parody of Deadpool. And I get it, like a parody of a parody is, is amusing because Deadpool's a parody of um, of Slade Wilson. Uh, what's his name? Dead, dead, not Deadshot, the other guy. The Teen Titans guy. I can't remember his name now. Anyways, I get that he's a parody already, right? Wade Wilson, Slade Wilson. This was just a nightmare. This was a nightmare. And honestly, I'm, I'm waiting for the day that Deadpool gets a new uniform with a Tier 4 to actually make him good again. Because Deadpool's basically been trash since 2019 it's true it's true he's he, even though he's gotten two uniforms since 2019 uh they've both been trash so yeah I, i'm really hoping that the next one puts deadpool in a, in a place where he can finally compete again because he was really good when he came out he got really good upgrades until 2019 and then when they changed around how all defense down works and then they introduced pierce deadpool's uh value just took a nosedive and he has never since he has not since recovered so yeah uh the the leaks we'll get to them now here uh point two and again i call i'm calling them leaks i'm calling them data mined none of this is for sure right this is all speculation just based on files that are being changed in the game uh, when you compare the most recent version to the last version before this one, right? So when the game gets updated and you download a new update from the Play Store or the App Store or whatever, right? The, the devs change files, right? Files get updated, the, whatever edit date gets updated, the, the names get added, stuff gets added. Um, and so that that gives you clues, some, some context clues as to who could be getting an upgrade. But it's never a guarantee. So please do not take this video as like, oh yeah, this is what is going to happen, okay? This is just speculation. But it appears that Rachel Summers may be getting a uniform. Now, in addition to Rachel Summers, there's also some information that points to either Sabretooth getting something or, and this is where it gets a bit confusing, and I'll explain why, Wolverine getting something. I'm very excited for Wolverine, um, but Sabretooth sort of throws a monkey's wrench into this. But the three characters that have seen uh, some, you know, indicative action, let's call it, uh, in the game files are those three, right? Rachel, Sabretooth, and Wolverine. Now, this makes sense for a lot of reasons. It doesn't make sense for a couple reasons, and we'll cover that in a minute, but I wanna cover why this makes a lot of sense. If you go back and look, what was the last time, uh, you know, who, who did they choose the last time for the uh, holiday update and sort of like the, the last time they did paywall uniforms? They chose Magneto, 
and they chose magic they chose two mutants before that for halloween it was of course black bolt and morgan they're not they're not mutants but then before that for the summer uniforms who did they choose storm and iceman and then of course if you go back for uh, april fools we have deadpool and gwenpool so they've actually chosen mutants very frequently right last year they chose mutants three out of four times right so of the characters that they chose only three of them weren't mutants gwenpool morgan and uh and, and uh, dead um man i'm struggling with with names today black bolt yeah so it makes sense for them to go back to mutants again it absolutely makes sense for them to do a mid-month update for mutants it also makes sense to pair these types of characters together because rachel summers needs a tier three or conversely Sabretooth needs a tier three or transcendence um, and then wolverine is eligible for a tier four but that also introduces why it doesn't make sense because generally speaking they always do well not generally speaking, every single time they've done it they've done these uh you know holiday you know themed uh, paywall uniforms they always do one female and one male now in the case of rachel and wolverine that would be the pairing that would be the only pairing that makes sense right rachel gets a paywall uniform that you need tokens for and you get her to tier three just like gwenpool before and white fox before and morgan before and storm etc 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 magic right and then Wolverine is the full cost uniform that costs 1750 crystals. There's no discount, just like Deadpool, just like Magneto, just like Black Bolt, right? And he gets a tier four. However, it doesn't make sense for a couple of reasons here. One, we have so many combats already, right? We now have six combat tier uh, fours. Uh, no, we have seven, excuse me. We have seven combat tier fours. I have five. And then I'm missing Captain America and uh, Dr. Octopus. So there are seven combat tier fours. This would put us at eight, which is pretty bonkers, uh, considering that Universal only has three, considering that, you know, Speed only has three, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, yeah, that's the first one. The second one is Sabretooth kind of throws a wrench into this situation because he matches up really well with Wolverine, but their pattern of giving us a tier four and a tier three would be broken if they chose to do Rachel and Sabretooth versus Rachel and Wolverine. And of course, they're probably not going to do Sabretooth and Wolverine just because there's no female character for them to have the token cost uniform and, and bait all the simps, right? Now, there's a possibility that they try to switch up their formula. They have been doing a lot of new types of sales. So perhaps they're going to try and be, you know, extra egregiously greedy and, and scammy by going for the paywall Wolverine uniform and then the crystal cost Sabretooth uniform. And that could make sense because, as we know in the comics and as we know in the movies and stuff, Sabretooth and Wolverine are like yin and yang, right? They're, they're, they're sort of inextricably, not inextricably, they're, they're, they're you know, intrinsically linked as characters um, and as a sort of enemies uh, who have so many similarities, right? So I could see that as well. There's, there's a lot of, of stuff that matches up there, but it also does break the mold, right? It does break the mold of one female, one male, every single time they do these um, holiday type uh, updates with uh, paywall tokens. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys first off today. I wanted to get that out of the way and sort of cover that and give you my speculation on that. It's highly likely that we'll see two out of these three getting upgrades. But yeah, that's basically just uh, what it boils down to, uh, in my opinion, as far as what our different options are. And it, again, we could, this could be totally off base. We could be getting we could be getting no April Fool's update. Maybe they really didn't like the reception of last year's because the reception was really bad for this shit. Uh, so maybe they skip it this year. Who knows, right? Maybe they just do a normal mid month with no token event, like no, no, um, like I don't mean no token event. Like some people are gonna, oh, what do you mean they're not gonna give us tokens? I'm not talking about like this token, right? I'm talking about like this token, okay? I'm talking about the April Fool's token. I'm talking about shit like this, right? Maybe they're not gonna do this again this year. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Second thing I want to get to is the sales. Now, there's been a lot of new sales added to the game. There's also been these this new pop-up on the main screen, as you can see there. And the pop-up actually changes every time you cycle through, uh, you know, to, to different icons there. And it's really annoying because it's got a pink icon and it's just like in your face. Thankfully, it's only going to be there for another three days. So it's, it's gone soon. Um, but in addition to that, I can't have it pop up right now. But... A lot of people have been reporting that when they open the game, they get spammed with a lot of pop-ups for these different sales. 
uh, and that's really annoying so i wanted to start off by saying stop with the pop-ups <laughs> net marble if you if you're watching please stop with the pop-ups we get it we understand you guys want to make money but harassing players with like seven pop-ups when they log in and you get one pop-up and you close it and it asks you are you sure you want to close it and then you close it and then another one pops up and you have to just repeat that process that's just madness right like there's a lot of pop-ups already in store I, I think the only ones i can generate right now are shit like oh, i can't even generate that one uh there's a new one for world boss as well they're not it's not working for me right now but anyways you guys get the point there's a lot of pop-ups so i just i would I, I hope the devs know that you know too many pop-ups can actually have the inverse effect where people spend less money so just just maybe slow your slow your roll with all these pop-ups as far as the actual deals go i do want to talk about them though briefly because some of them are very good uh, again it's up to you to decide whether this signals a, a change of tune for the devs and it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to spend money on this game for some people it's part of their entertainment budget for some people this is like a you know a patience and determination and, and sort of discipline test where they play the game as long as they can without spending any money I don't really care you do whatever you want um but I, I'm not gonna get into that whole spiel like I usually do or I have been lately about like you know the game's future v your money spent uh because I've, I've said that enough in recent videos so if you want that spiel just go back to the last time we talked about sales um this first one here is really good just straight up it's really good uh you get a very competitive amount of crystals and you get a six star premium selector and you can see who's available in this premium selector or you can't holy shit the lag was insane on that what the hell bro so you click it and then you wait like 10 seconds and then it pops up are you serious okay super weird holy uh but yeah you can see who's available here there are some really good options right like polaris is a really good option uh dazzler's not a bad option uh again some are better than others i'm not going to give you a whole list of you know whatever blah 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 but you can decide but it's a this is a very good sale right Ve this is like a 10 out of 10 sale because you get a competitive amount of crystals and you get a mega tier 2 ticket so there's a there's a lot here um if you're trying to catch up and you're trying to build up some of these really good uh you know support premium characters this one um not so good not so good just because the the t the, the tokens you get not not the gold and not the crystals but the things in the middle they're just not very good they, they save you a little bit of time the, the level six advanced potential ticket does save you 10 million gold and 2000 bios but uh yeah it, this one's like a if the first one was a 10 out of 10 this is like a six out of 10 to be honest with you i'm just gonna rapid fire through these this one uh is really good again uh really good well it's 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 better it's better than the first one not as better than the second one not as good as the first one the mega tier th three ticket is quite nice to just boom let you get all the way to tier three for some of these really powerful characters like green goblin etc um you know uh ideally you you want to use this on, on a character that is going to give you immediate value at tier three or you're going to want to then push to, to level 80 tier four um but if the first one was a 10 out of 10 and the second one was a 6 out of 10 i would give this like a seven and a half out of 10. uh this next one is not so good this basically just gives you this is kind of like it's kind of like the mega tier three but transcended characters are cheaper because you don't have to use books on them so i i don't value this as well so i i, I dropped this back down to a six out of ten yeah the main reason that makes this just straight up better even though they're otherwise the same in terms of cost and crystals and gold is because of the books right i cannot i cannot understate they have a whole other sale right they have a whole other way to try to scam you and get your money to get books so so that's why tier threes are a lot more of a pain in the ass and why the tier three selectors and the mega tier three tickets are so much more valuable than the um transcended selectors it's not that transcended characters are weaker than tier three characters it's about the books right the books uh, are really difficult to come by there's so much rng um and it's easier now than ever if you just play abx and abl to have a surplus of awakening crystals and mandalay gems so transcended characters are just not that hard to come by anymore uh this one here it's a premium selector it's a premium card selector this one is okay it's expensive and the number of crystals you get is not competitive but you do get a premium card selector now i would say again it takes like 10 10 presses to, to show this uh, i would say it's tricky because we're probably going to get a random free premium card for the anniversary so there's a there's always a chance right there's a chance you choose the card and then you get it you get a, a repeat of the card in in about a month right however if you've been hunting for a card 
this is one of the better deals for it. So I'd give this like a six and a half out of 10. It's, it's technically okay. It's ex very expensive, but it also, uh, you know, saves you the headache of hunting for a card uh, for potentially months. This one, random C like a CTP selector, this one's not very good. This is like, honestly, a five out of 10. Uh, random CTP is, just, or not a random, uh, a set CTP selector is not as good as it used to be with reforging and all this other stuff. And we get a free CTP every month. Uh, so yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too keen on that one. Uh, and then we come to the uniform package. So the best way to understand this one is, and the best way to understand this time attack special sale is the two sales that, that buttress this thing. So the sale on the far right and the sale on the far left here are by far the best sales, like far and away. The shit in the middle uh, is not as good and the shit on the ends is like God tier. So this is a 10 out of 10 sale. This is like crazy good value. And this shit is like 10 out of 10 crazy good value. So you don't get a competitive amount of crystals, but what you get instead are two uniform tickets. Now you use those two uniform tickets to buy any two uniforms that are not paywall uniforms and they're not uniforms that are over 1750 crystals. So not like not Jean Grey's uniform, not Thanos's uniform, right? They're, they're not for native tier twos. Uh, but anyways, any other uniforms you can buy at any time, as long as it's they're not from the very most recent update, right? The, the very newest update. But that essentially gives you, right, even at a normal sale time, not, not for the special anniversary sale, but even at normal sale time, those two uniform tickets are worth 2,100 crystals. So you're basically getting 3,200 crystals at, you know, when you purchase this, plus you're getting the other stuff. The other stuff is really not worth it. The uniform upgrade kits and the level five uniform XP chips, whatever, we can just ignore that. But you get a very competitive amount of crystals, right, for the cost. And normally the, those that amount of crystals that I said, the 3,300, normally that amount of crystals costs me uh, $39.99. So this is Canadian dollars, right, $27.99. So this is this is like thirteen dollars less or twelve twelve dollars less than it usually is in game for the same amount of crystals. But you don't get them in obviously in full crystals. You get the two uniform tickets. However, the two uniform tickets have more value because you can buy them whenever you want. You don't have to wait for a sale. So this is really good for whales, uh, like new whales. It's also really good for returning players who need to like quote unquote play catch up. Uh, to, to get a bunch of uniforms uh, that they uh, that they missed out on. Uh, this is better, you know, this is better value than buying crystals with your money and then buying uniforms on the anniversary. It, it, it may not be the same. It actually may be a little bit more expensive, but it's very, very close. And again, there's the flexibility of saving the uniform tickets for later if you want, right? So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, the pop-ups are super annoying, but some of the sales are quite spicy so yeah that's th that's the video for today hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of wolverine Sabretooth, rachel and everything else smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one take care